Hello mga ka JTV, this is Sir Joel of Sir JTV Channel. In this video lesson, we will discuss about classification of numbers. Start tayo sa natural numbers. Ito ang pinaka basic type of classification ng mga numbers. Ito ang symbol na ginagamit natin sa pagpropresent ng mga natural numbers. Natural numbers include numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Madalas din tawagin ito na counting numbers. The next layer of numbers are the whole numbers. And it is often represented as this symbol. Whole numbers are the sets of all natural numbers and zero. So instead of starting at 1, mag-start tayo ng 0. The next classification of numbers are integers. Integers are often denoted as this symbol. This includes all whole numbers and yung mga negatives nila. The next classification of numbers are rational numbers. Rational numbers are often denoted as this symbol. Rational numbers are set of numbers that can be expressed as the ratio of two integers or ito yung mga numbers na pwede natin gawing fractions. So we have integer over integer. Given integer a over b, where b is not equal to 0. Example, negative 3 over 4, 10 over 7, and 5 over 1. 5 over 1 is equal to itself. So, ibig sabihin niyan, lahat ng integers ay rational numbers. Since pwede natin silang lagyan ng denominator na 1 na hindi binabago ang value nila. In that case, na-express natin sila as fractions. For 6 over 0, hindi natin ito consider as rational number kahit fraction siya. Dahil ang pag-divide ng 0 ay nakakakuha ng undefined na answer. So ulitin ko, ang mga rational numbers ay ratio ng dalawang integers except kapag ang denominator ay 0. Another example of rational numbers are terminating decimals. These are decimals that has an end. Example, 1.5. Makakonsider natin to as rational number dahil pwede natin itong i-convert into fraction 3 over 2. Another example is 0 0.5 or in fraction form, 1 over 2. Aside from terminating decimals, consider din natin na rational numbers ang mga repeating, non-terminating decimals. These are decimals that continues endlessly at umuulit ang mga numbers. Example, 0 0.3333 and so on. Merong isang digit na umuulit infinitely. Pwede natin i-convert ito into fraction as 1 over 3. Another example is 0.090909 and so on. Sa example na ito, merong dalawang digits na umuulit infinitely. Pwede natin i-convert ito into fraction 1 over 11. Another example is 0.142857142857 and so on. In this example, merong anim na digits ang umuulit infinitely. Pwede natin i-convert ito into fraction 1 over 7. So ang mga rational numbers ay ang mga numbers na integers, terminating decimals, repeating non-terminating decimals, at fractions. Next classification of numbers are irrational numbers. Hindi ito included sa rational numbers. So, isa-separate natin siya. Irrational numbers are often denoted as this symbol. Ito ay ang kabaligtaran ng rational numbers. Ito ay ang mga numbers na hindi pwedeng i-convert into fractions. 
these are numbers like non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. Ito ay mga decimals na infinite pero walang pattern na digits ang umuulit. Example, square root of 2. It is equal to 1.414213562 and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo, infinite yung decimals pero walang pattern sa digits ang umuulit. In this case, di natin ito makakonvert into fraction. Another example is pi. It is equal to 3.1415265 and so on. It is non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. Next classification of numbers are real numbers. It is noted as this symbol. Real numbers are simply the sets of all rational and irrational numbers. Next classification of numbers are imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers are separated from real numbers. These are often denoted as this symbol. Imaginary numbers are square root of negative numbers. Example, square root of negative 1. Square root of negative 1 is i. Another example is square root of negative 4. Pwede natin i-factor ang negative 4 as negative 1 times 4. Square root of 4 is 2 and negative 1 is i. So we get 2i. Next classification of numbers are complex numbers. It is denoted as this symbol. These are simply sets of all real and imaginary numbers. So ulitin ko, we have the complex numbers. Under these complex numbers, we have real and imaginary numbers. Under real numbers, we have rational and irrational numbers. Under rational numbers, we have integers. Under integers, we have whole numbers. And under whole numbers, we have natural or counting numbers. Well, that's all for now. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video last na ito. Huwag kalmutan mag-subscribe para updated kayo lagi sa mga i-upload ko mga video lessons. Paalam!